Today I'm going to send a card to a friend of mine who has a dog called Hope and that dog's the light of her life. I'm going to go to her Facebook page and see if I can find some photographs to inspire me. So I open up her Facebook page and lo and behold there's a really cute shot of her dog right on that page. I'm going to click on it to see a larger version. Yep, I love it. So now I want to save it to my desktop. That's a right click for a PC or it's a control click for a Mac. And I'm going to save it to my desktop and I always like to change the, the file name with all of those numbers so I keep the extension JPG and I change it to something that I'm going to remember. In this case I'm going to make it Hope 1. And then I hit save and I know that's now gone to my desktop. Now I'm in my Send Out Cards account and I'm going to hit the Create a Card button. This takes me to a card catalog with thousands and thousands of cards. And in this case, I'm going to actually see if this works. I'm going to put the word hope in and see what the uh, system shows me if I search. So I look at all these different cards and I go, holy crow, there's a card that has the word hope right on the front of it. And it says, a little bit of hope nurtured and properly cared for. And on the inside it says, if I click, can blossom into a power that can get you through anything. This is perfect. So I'm going to put create a two panel card. And now we're going to go into the card editor. And here's where I begin to go to work. So first of all, I'm going to go over to my picture file, and I've already uploaded the photo of, of Hope that I liked. So I'm just going to scroll down here in my little albums and stuff, and there she is right towards the bottom. I'm going to drag her over onto the side panel there and just position her. Okay, that's not a bad size. And I think maybe I'll just uh, crop it in a little bit to balance it up a little bit more. And that looks really good. Move it over and shift it a bit and I'm quite happy with that. Now I want to dress this up a little bit so I think maybe what I'll do is I'm going to go to the elements section and there's all kinds of sort of scrapbooking things you can use here and I happen to know of, uh, of one called it's autumn or fall something or other. You just scroll down till you find it. Um, let's see here we go. Alright autumn afternoon and yep there's the color I'm looking for sort of a deep gold. I'm going to drag that in here just drop it in place. Don't panic it looks like it's going to cover everything up but it won't. I'm going to magically extend this down to fill the entire background on that side and then I'm going to hit back and lo and behold there's the background to my photograph and it looks super. The next thing I want to do is add some type under the photograph. There's already a text box here and I'm going to click on that. Now you can see its perimeter and I can reshape that box to make it fit the size that I want underneath the actual photograph. So I'm just adjusting things here and now I'm going to start typing my message. Let's see, how about truer words were never spoken about your little munchkin? Um, you've loved and nurtured her, and now she's your petite poodle powerhouse. No doubt about it, our dogs are good for our hearts and souls. Okay, I like that. I'm just going to move it into place a little bit more now that it's actually filling the space. There we are, and I can you can see that you can move this around in little bits and pieces to get it where you want it. And I'm going to move the picture up just a little bit too for a better separation. So I just click on it and I can move it as well. Great. Yeah, I think I like the look of that. Mm, I've got another idea. I'm going to highlight this type and I now I'm going to change the color of it. So I click on that little black box with the A and I can now have a, an eyedropper thing to pick a color from anywhere that I want. And so I'm going to choose the same color as the word anything. And I just do all of that and there it is. And that looks super. I'm happy with that. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is sort of add my uh, signature salutation kind of thing. So I'm going to put the word love in, um, and I've typed that in. I want to make it a little bit larger to fill the space better. So I'm going to choose a 22 size. Here I'm just centering it to kind of get it into place in the card where I like. I'm here showing you how you can adjust the text box size and move it around. You can actually tilt things a little bit too. Okay, that looks good. Um, I'm going to change the font to envelope hand, which is another font, which I think looks a little bit more like handwriting. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now the next thing I want to do is actually insert our actual signatures, and they are our own signatures, which you can have put into your send-out card system. So there's the one that says Roger and Leanne, and there it is. Looks good. I'm highlighting it here, and um, I'm going to drop it down into place to where I kind of think it's going to go, again with a slight tilt. All right. Yep, that looks good. Oh, I know. I forgot a, a comma after love. So I'm going to click back in there, add my comma. Yep, that looks good, but now I think I want my signature a bit bigger, so I'm going to highlight that and take it up a size as well. Let's see, 30. Yep, just drop it down and over a bit maybe. Yeah, I like the look of that. Super. Okay, so now I hit continue. I'm happy with everything. 
Next, you'll see my cart. Everything's fine. Then I go to the return address, which is automatically populated from my system. And now I'm going to look for my recipient. Her first name is Heather. I have several Heathers in my system, but my search will find them all. And there she is in the bottom corner. I just click on her, select recipient, and it's automatically filled out for me as well. Next step, this is going to take me in to see how the shipping postage aspect is. And this will be going with Canada Post immediately. I confirm and go to payment. And here I see a summary of that information. Hit the send a card button. It's on its way. Woohoo!